Hello, baseball fans. Welcome to the CSBN, the Collegiate Summer Baseball Network. I'm Ken O'Neill. Today, we're unveiling the 2019 Top 10 Summer Leagues presented by the Collegiate Summer Baseball Register, the largest directory of summer leagues and teams anywhere. For the second year in a row, CSBR has compiled a database of some 8,000 players on the rosters of 240 teams and 30 summer leagues. They've scored each player based on the competition level of his college program. Points are given for each NCAA level as well as for junior colleges, NAIA, NCCAA, CCCAA, and NWAC. Extra credit was given for P5 and G5 conference teams as well as for top 25 ranked programs. Underclassmen were given higher scores than underclassmen. The average score for each league determines the league rankings. So here we go with the 2019 Top 10 Collegiate Summer Baseball Leagues. Topping the charts once again is the venerable Cape Cod Baseball League, the granddaddy of summer ball. Playing its 134th season, the league, which traces its roots back to 1885, literally invented collegiate summer league baseball. Last year, there were over 300 active Cape League alumni playing in the big leagues and over 1,200 all-time alumni performing at all levels of professional baseball. The Cape remains the premier amateur baseball league in North America. Maintaining their number two spot is the highly regarded New England Collegiate Baseball League. The New England League, as is commonly known, draws virtually all its players from D1 college programs at over 30% from P5, G5 conferences, or the top 25 ranked college baseball programs, second only to the Cape Cod League. Boasting 150 plus Major League Baseball players, the league has had 100 or more alumni drafted in Major League Baseball's first year draft in each of the last 10 years. Jumping up seven spots to third is perhaps the most unique league in North America. That, of course, would have to be the Alaska Baseball League, home of the top of the World Series and Midnight Sun Game, which is played every summer solstice starting at 1030 at night and ending around 130 the next morning. Among the many famous players who have appeared in games are Tom Seaver, Dave Winfield, Terry Francona, Harold Reynolds, Jason Giambi, and Bill Spaceman Lee. Moving up to fourth place from sixth last year is the Coastal Plain League. Long regarded as one of the best leagues in the country, the 16-team league is spread out from four states, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Last season, the CPL moved to a four-division format, most likely to help mitigate long trips and large travel budgets. This is the league on the move. Coming in at fifth place is the Cal Ripken Collegiate Baseball League, Last year's number three league lost four teams, shrinking from 10 to six teams, including the Baltimore Redbirds, one of the league's top two teams. However, the consolidation has concentrated the talent in fewer teams, helping to maintain strong average team roster scores, a job well done by the league. Moving up two spots to number six is the West Coast League. With the addition of the Ridgefield Raptors in 2019, the WCL now has two divisions of six teams each, playing in front of ample crowds on a wide range of ballparks, ranging from old minor league parks to state-of-the-art collegiate stadiums. The league plays ambitious schedule of 54 regular season games and as many as five non-league games as well. WCL is one of the two dominant leagues on the Pacific Coast. Our seventh rated league is the Valley Baseball League. Founded in 1923, the league is stretched up and down the beautiful Shenandoah Valley with teams playing in a mixture of former minor league ballparks, municipal parks, as well as high school fields. The VBL attracts talented players from a wide variety of college programs from coast to coast with nearly 200 programs represented on its rosters with many players coming from the rich recruiting areas of the Middle Atlantic and Southeastern regions. Over 1,000 league alums have been drafted by Major League Baseball, with 30 to 50 drafted every year. The league enjoys a well-deserved reputation as one of the better leagues in North America. Moving up to the eighth spot for the first time is the Great Lakes Summer Collegiate League, which was an honorable mention in 2018. In ninth place is the largest league in North America, the Northwoods League. A tribute to the league's strength is the high quality of competition. It maintains year after year despite having to recruit 660 players for the 22 teams. Northwoods is by far the largest league and it plays the most games, 72. Enjoying the luxury of being the proverbial big fish in a small pond, 
Northwest League teams had built enthusiastic fan bases that turned out in large numbers, making it the highest attended league in summer ball. And finally, rounding out the top 10 is the California Collegiate League, dropping three spots from seventh place last year. The league has an unusual setup with seven league members and three affiliate teams to play several regular season games in affiliate division. The affiliate teams all have lower roster scores than the member teams, thus dropping the league rating. And that's a look at the 2019 Top 10 Summer Leagues presented by the largest directory of summer leagues, the Collegiate Summer Baseball Register. I'm Ken O'Neill.